Hello everybody, welcome back to Saturday Workshop with the Gaspiad in Empyrean Galactic Survival and the work in progress on Codename Broadsword which has changed quite a bit from last week, hasn't she? She's added a lot more shape now. The main flight deck is in place and the start of the superstructure is in place and lots of other features have been done. So let's just fly in a little bit and switch off those thrusters so that I don't get cooked as we go through. Thrusters off, thank you. Actually, we'll need power on and we'll need lights on where they are fitted. And that's not many. So let's just have a quick flight around the outside. As you can see at the front, I've added in those two outer large engines. I've done the same at the back on both sides, obviously. There's not much change in the hangar pods other than the block work around those engine exhausts. Up here on top of the flight deck, we've got a twin island with a flying bridge situated above like that. Still very much a work in progress. Gun markings have started appearing all over the place. Just giving me a clue on where I'm going to be adding the guns. I've done a little bit of greebling, like adding the radar and those couple of antennas. Just give me a bit of scale and view. In here, in the main bridge, it's still very spartan. But I have got the three cockpit seats in place. The main pilot, and two co-pilots. In there, on the end of the bridge, we've got access to what will become the bridge wings, allowing you to step out and look along the side of the ship. Elevator going down. This is the same elevator that arrives in the hangar eventually. Viewing window there. Small room. Door out onto the gun decks at the back. A larger room here, which is at main deck level. Steps out onto the sheltered area under the bridge. And then the elevator continues down into the area that we were familiar with. Now I've put that zigzag in there as a blast control mechanism. because I can't get doors on the top of the elevator there due to the block work. So, oh, and I just need to bring the, the hood back up again. Get the gun out. And we need to fix that ceiling. Get that done while we're here. See if the other side needs it as well. Yes, it does. Is it done? All right. I'll put that away now. None of this has changed. Nothing in the farm has changed. And I don't believe anything down here has changed either this week. I've got to come back to this and get it sort it out nothing's changed in the hangers either this is all on hold waiting for me to paint it out once i've decided what i'm going to do with that window now if my voice is sounding a little bit strange i've had a week of 
nocturnal activity where my body clock has been completely upside down for the last eight, nine days. And I'm recording this at nine o'clock in the morning at a time that I should actually be going to bed having been awake all night. And I've got a little bit of an ear infection, which means I can't hear properly in my right ear and I can't judge the volume of my voice. Plus, I've got a little bit of a, a roughness in my throat, which is making my voice altogether a bit on the croaky side. So, most of this week's work has been involved in getting this flight deck into place, getting the superstructure up. You'd be surprised just how much work and rework and delete and start again went into getting this superstructure to this stage and I'm not entirely happy with it and it's primarily because we don't have the necessary blocks to give me the shaping that I need so we end up with situations like that and with situations like this as well as that. Put the light on, you can see it. Right. So there's lots of little bits on this that I am really not happy with that are going to need reworked because I want a uniformity of shape and lines that just makes it look as if it deserves to be, as if it's designed to be there shall we say at the moment it's still looking a bit messy and this will probably change quite substantially before next week's video in particular i don't like the square shoulders on the end of the bridge i wanted them to fit in with the slope of the outer edge so i'm going to have to rework them and the reason that those blocks are there is because of the elevator there so the only way i can think of to work around that and get that sloping in properly is to actually move the foot of the superstructure forward by two or three blocks which would then allow me to get a much better shape in there At the front, based off contemporary aircraft carriers in the 21st century, I put the little ski jump. Just a nod towards the history of carriers. And also I've started putting the the gun nail elevate the try again the gun umbrella platforms out. I've completely forgotten how to English and I need a drink of water. Bear with me a second. Hopefully that little bit of lubrication will uh, return my voice to normal. So I did experiment with the idea of putting another XL engine there. If you look at the crosshairs in the center of the screen, that zone there. I did dig out the blocks and try to put the engine in, but the problem that I ended up with was because of the length of the engines, once we get inside the armor, the back of the engines was directly corner to corner contact with those O2 tanks, which created a horrendous weak channel coming through into the um, the the fuel here which I did not want at all it also meant that there was a massive weak spot coming through that went down into the hangar as well so I had to throw that idea out and go with the extra engines on the sides which has proven not too bad if we look at the stats um, where are we on there We can, oh, I need to turn the ship on, don't I? Hold on. 
need to, or at least I need to turn the thrusters on so that we can see the flight characteristics. Currently says 100 meters per second is the maximum speed. The acceleration front and rear is 83 meters per second squared. Um, lateral thrust 41 meters per second squared and 24 descent 49 lift with a 20 degree per second um, pitch that's nose up and down the yaw which is nose left to right 32 degrees per second so it take three seconds to do a 90 degree turn which is reasonable on a ship this size i would prefer it to be a lot faster and i may add a lot more um, medium thrusters in little corners that i can get them into before the build is finished but for the moment i'm trying to keep it to the minimum number using um, xl and large thrusters and you can see how that's impacted on shaping around the, the outside in terms of descent thrusters the only places that i could put them would be in the corner of the main hull possibly somewhere like that one on each side in the bow and find a similar position in the stern and underneath similar sort of thing she does have eight lifting thrusters underneath see them there and although i've put undercarriage in place i would really recommend that this ship does not descend to the surface she's got the power to lift herself off the ground but her size and her shape is not conducive with landing on the ground i would say use an orbital station to dock her and then use svs uh, or teleporters to go down to the surface so it looks like not a lot of work done this week but it has actually been a surprising amount of work to get her to this stage And I'm sorry that the update is a little bit of a mess this week. Um, a little bit disorganized and not a lot to show. Although there is one area that I can show or a couple of areas that I can show you something that is different. As you can see here, if I fly inside the superstructure, you can see that I doubled up on those tanks in the bow so that we now have 16 um, tier 3 fuel tanks up here in the bow and we've got this little engineer and walk around room here which still needs its ceiling painted it's had the walls done it's had the floors done i turn my uh my light off you can see a few sparkly lights here and there just to give it some highlights and elevator doors this is the main elevator that goes down to the um the hangar floor and this is the upper extent of it and obviously the next floor down is what will become the accommodation floor sorry no it's not it's the, the forward generator room and the underside of the fuel tanks and then the next stop next stop down is the accommodation floor right now it's not there's the accommodation floor i'm getting lost in my own ship and it's not even finished building yet there's the hangers so we've lost a deck a fuel room generator room there it is engineering sorry production room there and then the next step down is the hangar so in the stern of the ship if we come up and fly through the super through the uh, actual structure of the ship um we can get into the back and you remember i put in this fuel room 
now that we've got the the decking above it in place you can see how I've done the ceiling with this dark pattern and the piped texturing supplementing the the primary textures in fact there's one that's gone wrong that one there should just be plain plain pipe work like that letting the lights come through my voice is going all sorts of croaky and squeaky again sorry about that right so yep yeah, so that's that done now and come down here we descend into aft engineering well we've seen this a few times now in terms of where this all goes and we're getting some of the uh, wrong we're getting some breakthrough on the paintwork again which you constantly got to keep an eye out for and just fix as you find it because it'll happen during a, a build all right so that's how, how we've progressed this far I'll wrap it up there short video this week but just an update to show you where we're going with it I'm going to try and progress this on quite a bit over the next week or two and get it towards finished there's a lot of texturing and shaping and block work to do to add shape and character to her that has to come in she's at the moment she's still a very plain outer shape and internally of course we've still got a lot of fitting out to do internally but there's a lot of work to do on the outside adding in all of the the contouring and what have you that is not actually straight up painting textures although there will be a lot of painting textures to do so comments please guys let me know what you think of this stage as you know i'm not happy with the superstructure it needs a, a rework but the general shape is there it's just the the fine shaping that needs to be fixed so i'm gonna wrap this video up i'm gonna get it uh edited and rendered and uploaded for you guys and then i'm off to bed so have a great weekend. This is Gatsby at Out. This is Project Broadsword. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below. Look forward to reading them. It's always from me. It's never, oh, never goodbye. It's just bye for now.